Dear all, welcome to our channel. I would like to inform you that our channel has crossed 50,000 views and also our channel has crossed 1000 subscribers last month. This is not possible without your support guys. Thanks a lot for making this to happen. Some of you has put very nice and positive comments about my lecture. I really appreciate that from deep of my heart. On reading those comments, I get goosebumps. Thanks for that and I really enjoyed it. This channel is my passion. I am working hard to bring it up. I want to tell everything I know. Definitely I will make videos on all which I learnt in my 20 years of software development experience. Some of you have put comments that my uploading interval is very long. Yes, I do accept I am very slow in making videos because I am trying to make quality videos. And this video making task is something new to me. I have not done anything before. Suddenly I started this during my quarantine days. Yes, I was seriously affected last year by COVID-19. But by God's grace, I recovered well. Even that recovery is also slow. Definitely in the future, I will try to speed up things and release a video every week. In this video, I have displayed the source code URL of the video ASP.NET Core CRUD in CodeFirst approach using Ajax. This is the video which gave lot of hopes to the channel. This is one of the best performing video of our channel. You can download the source code from this URL and the YouTube link in the description of this video. After extracting the zip file, open the solution and locate the appsettings.json and change the connection string to target your machine. In case if you have enabled the SQL Server Express which comes up with Visual Studio 2019, then the same connection string should work and no need to change anything. Notice there is no files in the migration folder. That means we need to create the database from the scratch. So let's do our first migration. Go to tools and select nuget package manager then select package manager console. After that in the package manager console window type add dash migration space create db within quotes and press enter. Now the build is succeeded and the migration files are created but still it is not yet updated to the database. Then now type the command update dash database and press enter key. This command will create the database. If all went well then you can see the message build succeeded. After that press F5 to run the application. Let's click the products menu. Yes products listing page is loaded properly. This listing page is having codes for normal code first CRUD. Now let's press the products Ajax menu. You can see the products Ajax listing is loaded. This listing page is done using Ajax and partial view. I hope you will definitely like this project. For complete explanation of this project, please watch the Ajax code first CRUD from our channel. The video link is available in the description of this video. In this channel we have so far seen ASP.NET Core CRUD in code first approach. ASP.NET Core CRUD in code first approach using Ajax. Then ASP.NET Core CRUD in database first approach. Master detail screen. In this I am saving the master and detail model together which is a very interesting video. Now we are in the middle of creating a complete inventory project from scratch. I will try to cover up all the important features of the ASP.NET Core MVC in this project. Then one good news for you all. I have decided to gift source codes to you guys for every 25k views reach of our channel. Oh I forgot to tell you the password. The password for the source code zip file is hit hard. Please use 7 zip software to unzip the file. That's it for now. Once again I thanks everyone for making it to happen. With this I am completing this video. Before I sign off I request you to subscribe and share this video. I would appreciate if you would like and subscribe to this channel so that you will be notified for all of the new videos that I will be posting. Thank you and bye for now.